In 1945, World War II reached Japan's home islands. The command of the Japanese combined fleet made a Bushido-style decision. Yamato, with the help of a light cruiser and eight destroyers, was to defend the island of Okinawa and prevent the US troops from getting any further inland, or fight to the end and finish her journey gloriously. Executing this order on April 6, 1945, the legendary Japanese battleship sailed off to fight her last battle. The United States sent in its Task Force 58 to intercept the flagship of the Japanese Combined Fleet. The Americans would not miss the chance to destroy the symbol of Japan's naval power. As early as 10 a.m., the first U.S. squadrons took off from five heavy and four light aircraft carriers, located about 300 miles away from Yamato. A total of 227 aircraft took part in the destruction of the Japanese force. The battle began at 12.34. Four aerial bombs hit Yamato, taking out a five-inch gun and several automatic cannons. In just 20 minutes, two more bombs struck the battleship and a torpedo hit her port side. In response, Yamato fired her anti-aircraft weapons. At 14.02, the Americans launched the last attack on the wounded, but still combat-capable Yamato. It was a demonstrative execution. Four torpedoes, three to the port side and one to the starboard side, destroyed the ship's damaged control center. Yamato stopped moving and started listing to port more and more every minute. And when this huge ship capsized, a monstrous explosion erupted. The pride and hope of the Japanese fleet went under. Together with the ship, 3,000 crew members were lost, including the commanders of the Japanese force and the ship. For the Japanese, Yamato still remains a symbol of the nation's might that fell in battle like a true samurai. The city where the legendary battleship was built opened a museum whose centerpiece is an 85-foot model of Yamato.